So that shiny new game just came out, Unknown 9 Awakening, and you want to know if it's worth your time, right? Well, let's take a look at the game first and first impressions. Keep in mind, this is not a full review, this is a quick look at the game. I played the game for two hours, so I'll show some footage of the game while describing it and giving a few thoughts on it. First off, performance. I was playing at 1440p with a 3080 Ti, max settings with FSR on quality. FSR is a default option, there's no DLSS. Also, I used a rivet tuner to limit my FPS to 100. For the most part, performance was fine, with the occasional stutter. I was almost always at the 100 FPS limit that I set for myself for the most part. Graphically, this game isn't the best. The graphics do seem a bit old. Some scenes do look pretty decent, but for the most part, the game just seems a bit old graphically. Even the character models look kind of weird, especially their faces and expressions. Combat also seems pretty simple. You punch lightly or harder and are able to dodge. But luckily, there are abilities that you can use. The abilities is what makes combat go from simple and boring to somewhat decent. Honestly, this whole game, at least in the two hours that I played, just didn't appeal to me that much. Story, combat, graphics, pretty much all aspects of the game. It just felt a bit lacking, at least to me. The game is also very linear with little to no exploration. On Steam, as of right now, I can see that there's almost no reviews for the game. It's been out for many hours now and there's only 43 reviews, 11 positive and 32 negative. A lot of the reviews come from people who got the game for free by purchasing an AMD GPU, apparently. The trailers and photos of the game made me think it would be much better than it actually is. Okay, now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the game itself now. The beginning scene explains that the Syene, an old civilization, saw their downfall coming. So they chose nine among them, and those nine were shielded from death. They're also known as the Unknown Nine. They were chosen so that they could serve as protectors of the Syene legacy, shepherds to a reborn humanity. The cycle of life and death continues though, and the Unknown Nine continue their fight against that. That's what the opening scene explains, but in the two hours that I played, I didn't get any more info on any of that stuff. You play the game as Haruna, a female who seems to have powers of some sort, as does the lady that she's with, who is a mentor to Haruna. She teaches her about her powers. The mentor says that an old pupil of hers, Vincent, is looking where he shouldn't be. That's why she's in the desert with Haruna along for the ride. The mentor then gives Haruna her shade bracers. As it's explained in the game, the shade inside a person represents their deepest essence, a bridge between this world and the other, named the fold. Your shade draws am from the fold, which is energy, and then the bracers are used to channel that energy. You'll be able to use the bracers to use powers in combat. For example, in the time that I played, I was able to push enemies and pull enemies, similar to using the force in the Jedi Survivor games. Also, you can use the power to make certain canisters explode. Then I was able to turn invisible temporarily and take over enemies' bodies for a limited time. I was also able to use an energy shield temporarily to block attacks. You can also look through the fold to help spot certain things. There was a part in the game where looking through the fold helped navigate through a sandstorm. I think that's about all the powers that I unlocked in the time that I played. Taking over enemies' bodies has a pretty long cooldown down, and that's probably the coolest and most useful ability that I used. If you explore a little bit as you play, you'll find some anomalies, which will give you skill points to use and unlock more abilities. That's pretty much all you can find when exploring, as well as some random collectibles. There is some climbing in the game, like on walls or vines, and also jumping over some gaps. The mentor tells Haruna that their abilities can be mimicked by technology, and I'm pretty sure a lady that I fought at the end, meaning before I got off the game, had such a device on her. After fighting a while and following the path, Haruna and her mentor do find Vincent. The mentor and Vincent say some words, but I'm not really understanding a lot. Regardless, Vincent seems to have wanted the mentor to show up. The mentor then fights the soldiers and Vincent, but ends up being defeated. I can't tell what Vincent does to her exactly, but I'm pretty sure he kills her. He then walks to Haruna and tells her to simply run, and she does. I'm really unsure why he'd just let her go. Now it's four years later, and Haruna is on her own and trying to hunt down and find Vincent again. She hears that he's in a jungle village, so she makes her way there, while fighting some enemies along the way of course. On the way there she meets a man on a boat. That man wants something called the Morning Star, which turns out to be an airship. So they team up to get there together. Eventually they make it to the airship and then a strong boss lady appears. Her arms are pretty jagged too. They look nothing like how normal females would look. I'm pretty sure this boss lady has one of those devices that mimic their powers as she's pretty dang strong. I died a couple times fighting her until I figured out the trick of defeating her, which is spamming the power to bring her close to me. That cancels her attack and then I'm able to attack her in turn. I eventually did beat her and then me and that guy get on the airship and fly away. He mentioned something about picking up some people, but I got off the game at that point. The best thing about this game is for sure the powers and abilities. Some are pretty novel and interesting too, though I still stand by what I said earlier. The rest of this game feels a bit lacking to me. I'd say this is an average or below average game. It's not necessarily bad, but I don't think it's that good. Perhaps some of you may like it more than me though, and that's fine. So overall, I think this has some interesting concepts, but I also think that the game has poor quality in a lot of other areas, though that's my personal opinion, whether or not this 
this is your type of game. I'll see you on the next one.